First of all, you are just blessed to have such a beautiful family and a beautiful daughter. <laughs> Jeff's great. But I know as a mother, you feel everything that your kids feel and tenfold. So that must have been just awful for you not knowing. The thing with cyclic vomiting is until people figure out that that's what it is, you have to be tested for everything. Mm -hmm. So she had an endoscopy, mm -hmm. she had upper GI, she exactly. had CT yeah. contrast, she had every single thing you could possibly have. And But if you're in the middle of a vomiting episode, a lot of the things you can't have because you can't hold down the contrast fluid. So you end up having to wait, oh, wait yes. you know, a while mm -hmm. and then have the test. You raise such a good point because the things that are most commonly misdiagnosed are the ones that are the most difficult to diagnose. So mm -hmm. if you come in with appendicitis, we can figure it out pretty quickly. If you have a urinary tract infection, you can figure it out pretty quickly. But right. cyclic vomiting, if you're going to see a doctor and then two months later maybe you see a different doctor, both of those docs are going to think, well, you just probably have a stomach bug. Right. Especially and treat when it that all way. the other so, patients are seeing that day have the stomach bug. Yeah, you have to know what cyclic vomiting looks like. And the thing that all um, CVS patients will talk about is the overwhelming, unrelenting nausea. That's what it's about. More so than the vomiting, that's just the, the byproduct, basically. Mm -hmm. It's this this sensation of nausea that will not leave. So what happens to children in particular is um, th they basically have to figure out how to maintain themselves. So they have to put themselves to sleep, they have to um, not move, they have to be in dark places because the only thing that they can think about is that next wave. Yeah. But the thing about it is when it's done, it's done. You've got your kid back. And I do want to introduce Dr. Richard Bowles, a medical geneticist from Children's Hospital Los Angeles, like Chandra mentioned, one of the leading researchers in cyclic vomiting syndrome. And this is a syndrome a lot of people aren't familiar with. Do we know what causes it? Cyclic vomiting syndrome is actually very common. About 2% of all school-aged children have CVS. Um, like any common disorder, it has genetic and environmental components. One of the genetic components is in the mitochondria, or the part of the cell that makes energy. So that's one of the causes, but we're still doing more research to figure out the whole syndrome. Many patients never get a diagnosis. And of course, the reason we're bringing this to light today is not only because of Serena, but treatments. You have been researching treatments for this condition and have found some very effective ones. First of all, there's medications, the same medications that are used in migraine, depression, irritable bowel, chronic fatigue, and many of the other conditions which cyclic vomiting syndrome is related to. Um, there's also certain vitamins which are used in extremely high doses which act to make the mitochondria make more energy. And you said something during the tape. If you're a parent at home and every year your child's getting diagnosed with the stomach flu repeatedly and in between those bouts everything's fine you got to think about cyclical vomiting syndrome and i see that as a pediatrician i've seen that a few times in my career this is a good example of when as a parent if you think there's something else going yeah. on don't be afraid to talk to the pediatrician and say you know what I really think something else is going because on here. Can we, can we look a little deeper? It's much more severe than that. You're absolutely mm -hmm. right. And you have to figure out what the trigger is. There always right. is a trigger. In my daughter's mm -hmm. case, it was her menstrual cycle, okay. which didn't get noticed until maybe her third or fourth cycle. As yeah. Every time she'd get to the hospital, I'd notice, oh, wow, your, your cycle is showing up. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, once we finally did get to Dr. Bowles, and it, it is confirmed that there was mitochondrial dysfunction going on. That's why uh, when her trigger of her cycle would show up, her body just didn't have the energy to take care of it, um, take care of her the way it needed to. So the combination of um, upping her vitamin regimen as well as another medication has at least stopped her cycle. She hasn't had a cycle of vomiting in four months, and that's the first time in, in a year right. that she hey. wasn't in the hospital. You know what? You are very knowledgeable. Thank you for sharing your knowledge Thank you. with us Thank today. You. I appreciate uh, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Bowles. And make sure to check out Grey's Anatomy Thursday nights on ABC.